Hello, this is Grady Parsons. I'm State Clerk of the General Assembly. And this will be a first in a series of podcasts about the future of the church. Not just the Presbyterian Church, but the future of the church uh, in America and around the world as we see these changes that are happening uh, in our culture and especially in our churches. Several uh, months ago, almost a year ago now, there was a, a surfing contest in Half Moon Bay, California. It's the Maverick Surf Contest, and it is a surf contest for the 24 elite surfers in the world. They wait for the right amount of waves. They look at the whole coast of South America and the west coast of the United States, and they wait for that weekend when those waves are going to be at their best, at their biggest. So the word went out over the Internet, and sure enough, 24 surfers arrived in San Francisco and went to Half Moon Bay to surf these big waves. Well, they surfed and they surfed. The waves, 50, 60 foot waves, they were surfing. And they soon drew a crowd of people up on the cliffs and a crowd of people down on the beach watching them surf. The waves were so high they had to be towed out with jet skis to get to these waves. Well, there was a rogue wave. And the rogue wave came in, went past the breakers, it hit the beach, and it upset many of the spectators, knocking some to the ground and causing a few injuries. Now, the moral of this little story, as I learned from an AME bishop, is that there are rough waves in life, but in this particular story, it wasn't the people suffering the waves that got hurt. It was the people who were just being spectators of the waves who actually got hurt. And that's what we need to talk about as a church. The church is going through some waves of change, uh, the way our culture changes, the way people come to church, the way people do when they get to church, what kind of music they like, what kind of sermons they like, how the minister interacts with the people, is there a minister at all? All of those things are being talked about now in the church. And we could watch that happen and we could wait till we think it's safe to get into the water and begin to explore those things ourselves. Or we could be like the surfers and just get out there and try to ride the waves and see what's going to happen. And Marl Lindbergh said, the wave of the future is coming and there is no fighting it. And we all know that's true. There is change that's coming in the world, there's change that's coming in our lives, and there's change that's coming in the church. And perhaps surfing is a good metaphor for the church because when you surf, you really have a lot of things are not under your control. You really are left up to the winds and the water and the moon and everything else. And just hopefully you can pick the right wave and ride it in to, by faith to shore. And that's where we are this particular time in the church. Now there are all kinds of people talking about this. Uh, Brian McLaren is someone just talking about this and we'll talk some about what Brian's saying. Paget, others are talking about it. Phyllis Tickle's talking about it. Uh, all kinds of sociolo sociologists are talking about it. Uh, these various changes that are happening in the church. And it doesn't mean there's not gonna be a church in the future. It just means the church is changing as the church has always been changing over the last 2,000 years of the Christian church. So what I hope you'll be willing to do is, is to hang in with me and be part of a conversation over the next several weeks as we talk together about what, is, what are the changes that are happening in our church and what is God telling us and saying to us through those changes that might be for us to listen to and to see and to be participating in as we try to ride this wave of change uh, into the place where God wants us to go. Thank you and I hope you'll watch next week.